Have you guys ever been fishing? I've been a few times, but I've never really caught much. However, fishing reminds me of a part of the big God story that we're gonna talk about today during Kid Connect at Home. Jesus is God. He chose to come to earth as a baby and grow up just like you and me. But Jesus was different in one way, well, more than one, but Jesus never sinned. The Bible says that as Jesus became a man, he was wise and he grew in favor with God and others. And he knew that God's plan is best. Now, when Jesus was about 30 years old was when he started to do the ministry. He, that's when he started to do God's plan for him on earth. And crowds of people followed Jesus. They were amazed by the things that Jesus said as he told them that God's plan is best. They were amazed at the miracles Jesus did to show them that God's plan is best. Jesus traveled to Galilee and began to teach the people beside the lake of Gennesaret. It's a long, kind of funny word, and it's hard to say. So today we call that lake the Sea of Galilee. The crowd got so big that Jesus actually had to get in a boat and taught the crowds from in the boat. The boat's owner's name was Simon, but we also know him by another name, Peter. Luke 5.4 says, when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Now Peter didn't fish with a fishing pole and a hook like we would. Many fishermen at that time used heavy nets that they lowered into the water. Fish would swim into the net and the fishermen would pull it up and take out the fish. The net full of fish could get really heavy and it was hard work. Let's see how Peter responded to what Jesus told him. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets again. These men caught fish for a living, but Jesus was a teacher and a builder. People didn't necessarily know him for his fishing skills, but even so, Peter agreed. He took his boat into the deep water, cast his net, and guess what happened? Peter caught so many fish that the nets began to break and the boat began to sink. It was probably the best catch of fish that Peter and his friends had ever seen or would ever see again. Do you think Peter was jumping for joy with all those fish? Well, the Bible says that when Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees and told Jesus that he was a sinful man. They knew it was a miracle. They knew Jesus who had performed the miracle was no ordinary man, that he was God. But Peter didn't feel worthy of this amazing miracle. But Jesus didn't go away. Instead, Jesus asked Peter to follow him. It's amazing. God, the God of all creation, invited Peter, a fisherman, to be a part of his plan, to be a part of the big God story. Jesus said, don't be afraid, because from now on, you are going to fish for people. Now that's kind of strange. You don't go and use a fishing pole or a net and catch people. When Jesus said that, he meant that Peter was going to tell others about Jesus. God was inviting Simon Peter to use his talents for a bigger purpose, to be a part of God's big plan to bring people into a relationship with him. Peter was an ordinary guy who might not have thought he was in any way special, but Jesus did. Jesus loved him and had a special part for Peter to play in the big God story. Luke 5.11 says that when they got back to shore, Peter, James, and John left everything they had to go follow Jesus. Peter didn't feel worthy of God's loving choice to bring him into God's plan. 
And just like Peter, we might not feel worthy for God to choose us, to use us in his big plan. But because God's plan is best and he loves us so much, he invites each and every one of us to follow him. God also invites us into his plans to bring other people into relationship with him. How do we enter into a relationship with God? When we trust that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again, we become one of God's children who will live forever with him. It's such great news and we want to be able to share that with others. What are some ways that we can share the good news of Jesus? We can show love to others. We can take care of those who are hurt or sick. We can pray for people who are having difficult times and so much more. When people see how we treat them and one another, they'll see that we're Jesus' disciples. They'll see his love through our lives. It's all a part of following God's plans and God's plan truly is best. Jesus calls us to more amazing lives than we could ever dream for ourselves. Because of God's great love and mercy, we have been invited into his plans, the best plans ever. Before we go, let's end by saying a brand new remember verse together. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 139, 23 through 24. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you show God's love to other people this week. And I hope you come back next time. Bye. Bye.